Chris with Hydra Unlimited. Uh, we're going to be unboxing the one bucket today. First things first, if you're watching this video, this is how you got the instructions and this video. So let's, uh, let's get into it. I find it's helpful to lay out all my components first, get everything set up. But first I like to start out with the pump. Something to note, uh, this portion requires Teflon tape. And usually what we suggest is wrap it, you know, two, three times, maybe even four, but uh, definitely really easy. Now you can use pliers for this, but really we just wanna make sure there's no leaks. So. Next, we're gonna get the circulator, which is off to the side. Mine's a little messy. <laughs> But again, we're just trying to get uh, a good fit on here. No leaks. Okay, done with that. Next thing we wanna do, I like to put mine on first. It's just easier instead of going backtracking through. Got my spring clamps. Get a good seat. Next, connect the circulator. Give it a tug, make sure it's got a good seat. Put this off to the side. Next, we're gonna work with the drain. This is kind of important. This is a smooth seal, so we want the smooth side with the smooth side. Put it through the bucket, like so. Make sure it's kind of centered. Put our nut on the back. I'm gonna hold it in place, put it on, and if you know, you're know you not getting a firm fitting on there, you can always use pliers. So, like that. Now with these legs, we suggest tamping them down just to make sure the bucket's nice and even. And for this last part, uh, with the assembly really, Make sure we pull forward. Push forward. Now we got a firm lock. Go ahead and put our circulator on that recess point. Make sure it doesn't wiggle because it can be a pain. There you have it. 
Easy.